Just in case it is now. Could you imagine if it wasn't now, though? New activity, exorcism. Fight your way to the spire of exorcism and defend Marisov as she extracts the Witch Queen's worm. I mean, let's go. I mean, I should be more excited, but holy shit, we've waited so long for this thing. The time is at hand. The beacons shine bright and the ley lines are set in place. My Techians are prepared to perform the ritual that will separate Savathun from her worm. Although she claims she will help us in our fight against the Black Fleet and the entity that commands it, she cannot be trusted. You have coaxed enough information from her for my purposes. I will do what must be done, but know that Zivu Arath won't let her sister or her sister's worm go without a fight. I call on you once more, Guardian. Your knack for violence is needed. Make your final preparations and head to the Dreaming City. We will see you when you arrive. Guardian, you've aligned the ley lines and braved the ascendant plane to recover the lost Techians. For that, you have my thanks, but the real trial is yet to come. We must now perform the ritual to sever Sabathun from her worm. As promised, join me, and let's end the Witch Queen's lies for good. So is it just under an astral alignment, or what's the story? Oh, that's different. But don't forget, Guardians, to also claim your last Bright Dust gift. I wonder if it's going to be much different or if it's just going to be the same. It could just be the same thing. Yeah. Guardian, thanks to your efforts, my coven is reassembled. Once the blind well is prepared, the ritual to exercise Savathun's worm will begin. Let's go, Guardians. The hive are disrupting the alignment of the blind well. Realign the beacons to activate the ley line network. I get that well, don't mind me. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, this is different. That's the first beacon activated. Two more to go. The ley lines are conjoining. One beacon to go. The ley lines thrum with energy. All is in readiness. Assemble in my spire for the ritual. And where is thy spire, thy queen? Not mine, obviously, but the awoken queen. Oh. <clears throat> this. Oh, shit. Oh, that looks so cool. destruction they are powerless against my retribution this is Zivu Arath's last chance to capture Savathun she's dispatching all local forces to the spire <laughs> the teleporters to join us as soon as you can Corsairs to me fall back to the entrance hold this line to the last soldier for the reef guardian with the ley lines activated Zivu Arath's forces are pouring in from the ascendant plane this is so cool, but I wish I had my sword on me. I'm too lazy to change now. It's too epic not to like to change or to stop looking. I'm so glad there's more to this than just an astral alignment. Of course, we're also protecting everybody with the uh, Halo battle rifle. You know how it do be. There's no way they're gonna give up that easy. Never mind. Hello, my love. Osiris admired your patience, but you look antsy to me. Having doubt? Doubt is a useful tool, but double-edged. Do not let it lead you astray. Ugh. Leave him. Oh, say! I didn't even know. Your promises. Or I'll let him drag you into Zivu Arath's waiting jaws. I say. And then she would swallow you as well. Why must we threaten each other? I am merely clarifying my intent. It is time. Yalaya, Sajari, Austin, and Seth. We are sisters of circumstance, bonded by fate. Open those bonds to each other. Become one. Expel the parasite from our collective. Oh. This moment is simply the strike of a match. The fires we light here will burn long after. Oh, they will. <laughs> Large concentrations of Zivu Arath's forces are closing in on our position. 
Protect the queens. <laughs> the queens. Oh, Saint, you're gonna fight with us? None shall enter. Yo, he's giving us a bubble. Let's go, Saint. Whereabouts here? Damn, this is kind of dangerous, don't you think? Oh, we're literally facing all the astral alignment bosses. This is so cool. It's so cool to see Saint again, man. Like, actually doing stuff in the game. He looks like a leader, nearly. Oh, there's only two of them. Oh. They just died. Oh god, I am going to die. Holy bruh, the amount of damage they just did. Just leave this on to start healing some people. Oh. Wait, why have you stopped? Come on, keep going. We're, we're not finished yet. There's still more. Oh, got scene time. Oh, this was also in the cutscene. Or in the viaduct, too. You're running out of time. I feel my sister bearing down on you. Your family is tenacious, if nothing else. No more than yours. My brother spent years suffering punishment for the path you made him walk. Finally, justice finds its mark. Let this be the end of it. <laughs> oh shit. Osiris? Thank you. Yo, is anybody gonna check his pulse? Is he alive? I didn't actually think we'd see Osiris there. <laughs> like honestly, I'll be real. Is something else happening or is that it? Oh, that's it, okay. The ten Queen Mara Sob in the helm. Yo Mara. Where art thou? Down here? Okay. Well, let me glitch through the map real quick. So wait, what was the point of those Techians if we used the three in that, like, exorcism? Plans are fickle things. Two can view the same events and predict entirely different outcomes. I was outmaneuvered, and Savathun slipped through my fingers. Who knew, man? <laughs> I was sure that this path, these actions were absolute. But change is a prolonged effort. It requires application of steady pressure. There will always be backslides. Do not lose the summit in the climb. After Saint-14 returned Osiris to your tower, my Techians verified his identity. Savathun upheld her end of the bargain. Was he dead? And she did not escape unscathed. Her worm is mine. It will grant many insights, I am sure. You're still an idiot. The dreaming city can yet be broken. Go home, guardian. Prepare for what is inevitably to come. Plants are fickle things, Marisov says in a begrudging tone. She admits Savathun outmaneuvered her despite her certainty in her plan. Mara tells you this is simply a backslide, not a defeat. The road of change is a long and arduous one. She tells you Osiris has been returned as promised, and her Techians have fully verified his identity. Moreover, Mara shares that she has Sabathun's exercise worm in captivity, a point in our favour, she contends. While the Dreaming City remains cursed, Marasov believes the curse can still be broken. For now, she advises you to look after Osiris and think on all you've learned on your quest to rescue him. Can we just say, though? She, she's literally just taking anything as a win at this point. She's salty. Speak with Saint and Tower. Let me actually... Hold on. It's gone, isn't it? 
Yeah, see, this is a good, like, little detail that they don't have her thing here anymore. Osiris lives. Oh, he's alive. Thank you. Tried to bury him, to use him like currency for bargaining. She wore his face and spoke with his voice, but they were not his words. I did not believe the Witch Queen would hold to her promise. I, I thought I would never see him again. He is lost in sleep. Without the light. It is difficult to know if he will recover. But he is safe. Yeah, I need time, Guardian. I will see to Osiris's care. When he awakens, I want my face to be the first he sees. Perhaps I will joke that now we are even. Salvathun has many enemies. But she has never faced Saint Fourteen. We will find her. And this time, it is her who will be buried. Osiris' lips, Saint Fourteen's voice tremors as the words leave him. He speaks the Witch Queen's name with venom on his lips and vengeance in his thoughts. He tells you his doubts, how he prepared for heartbreak, how he believed he would never see his beloved again. Saint Fourteen takes a moment to calm himself before looking to you. I need time, Guardian. Saint promises he will see to Osiris' care until he wakes up. He wants his face to be the first Osiris sees. He thanks you for all you've done and for not losing fate. He assures you that when Savathun shows herself, she will meet judgment. So is that it? Are we, are we completely done now? But anyway, Guardians, that's all.